everybody. Power just released a bunch of new stuff, and as usual, I'm here to get you up to speed on everything new that was added. From the new raid boss to the QOL fixes, we'll talk about it all. So let go! Number 1. New Raid Boss A few months back, they teased a new raid boss that can be summoned, which is supposed to be as much or more difficult than our current level 50 boss pals. You can summon this boss by collecting 4 slab fragments that you can get from dungeons. And there are two versions of this boss. One is a common slab for summoning a level 30 version, and another is a rare slab for a level 50 version. The slabs can be obtained from boss room chest, and you can get the better rarity slab at level 40 something dungeons. After collecting 4 fragments, you can now craft the slab on your workbench and prepare for summoning. You would need a summoning altar, which you can get by claiming it on your ancient technology tree. And you might want to craft the summoning altar on an empty base because the whole battle might destroy everything on your base. So consider putting up a temporary base just for this battle. After that, you'd want to put the best dragon piles you have on your pal box so that they could help you in battle. And when you're all ready, just put the slab on the summoning altar, and there you have it. Honestly, even though I summoned the level 30 version of the boss, my level 40 and 50 pals struggled to kill this boss. My pals hated it so much that they threw the carcass off a cliff. But yes, once defeated, the raid boss may drop pal eggs that is pretty much just a baby version of it since you cannot catch raid bosses. And hatching the egg will unlock the raid boss on your pal deck. And unlike other pals, their partner skills is already unlocked. The partner skill of Bellinor is so good that it got pals literally rolling. Just look at that Lambo! Oh, and the raid boss also drops ancient civilization cores which you can use to craft the ability glasses and electric egg incubators. Number 2. New items Other than raid boss lab fragments, training manuals and ancient technical manuals were also added to the boss chest in dungeons. Training manuals can be given to pals to help them level as it gives lots of XP depending on the rarity of the manual. Ancient technical manuals on the other hand works like the old normal technical manuals except that this gives ancient technology points for your technology tree. Cave mushrooms can also be found in dungeons now which are used for crafting recovery medicine. This medicine will slowly recover your HP over time. There's also a new item called a homeward thundercloud which instantly teleports us to our nearest base but we can't use this item in dungeons and towers. Number 3. New Equipment for the new equipment, we have the ability glasses which lets us see a pal's stats. Though we won't be able to craft this item if we don't farm the raid boss. We also have a ring of mercy which cannot reduce an enemy's HP below 1 when we attack them. This is good to use so that you can avoid killing pals that you want to catch. Just make sure to turn off your pal or to use a pal with a mercy hit passive which works the same way as this ring. This ring can be bought from merchants or can be crafted at your workbench. And speaking of buying from merchants, we can now buy a multi-climate undershirt which gives us both cold and heat resistance. This is an awesome new item because it means that we can have one of our accessory slots free for other accessories. Number 4. Pal Changes For the Pal Changes, Helpsy and the Mad now has learned to, um, produce useful stuffs. We can make them work at the ranch where Kelsey gives pal fluids and the mud gives high quality pal oil. I wonder how they produce those stuffs though. But anyways, all negative statuses can now be fixed by putting the pals on the pal box. So if your pal is hungry, depressed or something, just put them on the pal box and it'll all be alright. The fix assignment works now too, so you can force pals to focus on one work and they would be so loyal to that command that they would be willing to stare at our equipment when nothing is cute. Number 5. New Base Things For the new base things, we have an electric incubator that automatically adjusts the temperatures for the eggs so that they would hatch quickly. But you would also need to farm the raid boss for the materials of this thing. We also have an ore mining site 1 and 2 which lets us produce ores like the mining area. There is no need to put a base on a map with lots of ores then. The first version of this is small, just like the mining area, and the second version of it takes up a huge space for some reason. Lastly, the antique dresser now has a use as we can change our appearance anytime by using it. Number 6. Better Automation The last one is my favorite addition to the game, some QOL for better automation. We can now choose what work our pals will focus on by manually turning it on and off at the monitoring stand. 
chests also have filters now for better organizing. The piles will no longer randomly put items on chests now or other storage areas if you uncheck a certain item type. So they can finally stop ruining our whole organizing thing going on. And lastly, piles can now transport the crafted items from the equipment to the chest if you select allow transport. And this works for cooking too. So if you cook something and allow transport, piles will automatically store it at the fridge for you. But that's about it folks. I don't know but I really like the QOL stuffs added the most as it really tilted me whenever my pals put stones on my dressers. But what about you though? Which part of the update did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. And super thanks to my lovely channel members as always. And to you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more Pal World updates coming your way. Bye bye.